Hi, I'm Therese Swenson, and I'm here at the Snow Creek Studios. This is the public access uh, studio that we use to film public access television. I am here with Andre Morgana. We have an event coming up this summer, and the event is for the best of Mount Shasta. And Andre, you've been involved with this for years. Um, you have something called the University of the Universe. And uh, not only are you very involved with putting on this three-day event, which is uh, native uh, healing and then spirit and spirituality and health and wellness there's three days but there's also people can come for the native the spirit and spirituality the health and wellness but a lot of the speakers will be there for the weekend and people can get information any day now something that you'll be presenting about i want you to be able to i'm trying to take you into people's living room and say this is what you're going to be teaching uh, during this conference so what day will be your day to be presenting i'll be presenting on the second day of the conference uh, regarding spirit and spirituality. Tell people a little bit about this University of the Universe. I've been researching for the last 50 years the v various different ancient world traditions that have to do with the age-old question of who are we, where do we come from, and where we're going. And for 20 years, I participated as a teacher of the Transcendental Meditation Program, which has its roots deeply in the Vedic tradition. And in the Vedic tradition, they teach about what is called consciousness and about meditation and about the phenomena of enlightenment. So I immersed myself in that culture. And as a TM teacher, I had the good fortune to instruct thousands of people in meditation. So I, I became versed at how to show people how to experience consciousness and how to help them understand intellectually what that experience was. And then, in addition to that, I was able to um, myself meditate for longer periods of time during that time, one time for two years, eight hours a day, eight to oh. 10 hours a day. So I became, again, uh, to understand that phenomena. Then I spent another 20 years researching another world tradition that originates out of Africa. And I found it in Brazil, where they teach people how to be a medium, how to see into the spirit realms, how to understand and know different spiritual levels that con are contained there and the different spirit beings that exist within those spirit realms. And also, in that tradition, they had seers a long time ago who could look out into the universe and they could see that the very fundamental forces of the universe were alive and had self-awareness, had intelligence and personality, and they called those the Orishas. So it was like I, I, another way in which to understand the concept of, uh, of the world out there in the universe. Then when I moved up here to Mount Shasta, I formulated, I took that knowledge and integrated it and formulated a nonprofit educational organization called the University of the Universe. And I now have programs that show people how to expand their awareness beyond the Earth, beyond the galaxy, and beyond the universe, and how to come back to that original source that in the Vedas they called it the absolute, the unmanifest, consciousness, the self. Other traditions they call it the creator, they call it God. And so I show people how to have that experience from out there at that level of perception. And then show people how to remember, because we've all been around for eternity, so what's happening during that time? How is it we first came into our universe? How is it we first came to our galaxy? What was it like when we first came to the Earth? So those are the programs that I offer right now. So now, on your um, event, well, at the event, um, you're going to be talking about this? Yes. Okay. And then um, you've been a spiritual teacher for 50 years, but why did you move to Mount Shasta? Mount Shasta is known worldwide as a destination for spirituality. It draws people from all over the world that have heard that there's something special about this location, something special about this mountain. And it's true, when you go up to the mountain and you just stand there, the silence is so deafening. It's so profound. Everybody feels it, no matter what their point of reference is. And so I came up for that experience, and then I found that this unfoldment of new knowledge came about just by being in this location. So this whole knowledge about how to expand our awareness beyond the size of the universe, how to begin to see the eternity of our lives that we've all been living, came by virtue of living in this area. 
And I guess we all have a part and parcel in that. But it's not only the sound, but being there, it's the scent. And, and of course, certain places you walk on the mountain, you can see forever. Yeah. And, I mean, there's so much about Mount Shasta that does call people home. So I understand how you came here and went, oh, I'm here. So, anyway, Andre, I look forward to this event. It'll be the Best of Mount Shasta is going to be at the City Park July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. I know I'm being repetitive, but I want people to click that in and write it on their calendar. And if anybody wants to get involved either as a, a food a provider or music or if they have a something, a craft or a hobby, I would like for you to invite them at this time how to get a hold of you. Just go sure. to the web. Sure. We have a website for the best of Mount Shasta, thebestofmountshasta.com. Go there, all the information, how to register for the conference, how to sign up to have a vendor booth, how to be a musician, how to be a presenter, all of that information, those applications are on the website. And we encourage as many people as possible to come forward and participate in the conference as well as um, uh, participate in terms of being a presenter or a vendor or a musician, but also come and, and um, come and see what the uh, conference is all Join about. Join us. Break, Join us. Break bread with us. <laughs> break bread. And then, and also, like, it'll be starting with the drumming and then this, they have the singing bowls. And I mean, there's going to be many events that you won't want to miss. Thank you. I wanted to interview you as a presenter, but I also like to take the opportunity to let yeah. people know how you've been involved in this for seven years and countless hours and reams of paper and emails <laughs> and phone calls. So I, I commend you for keeping it going all these years. And well, now I, you're getting help, so it's good. And now I thank you, too, for Therese has always stood by us during those years and helped to make available the understanding of what's happening at the Best of Mount Shasta. And, and if you go on our YouTube site, you'll see all the videos that Therese has created throughout the years through MCTV. Uh, 15, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the public access. But, you know, you won't recognize me because now I'm gray. But anyway, thanks so much for coming, and I'll be looking forward to doing another show to, to let people know the update of what we've got scheduled. Thanks, Therese. Thank you so much.